This video is on how uh, to write uh, polymers and how we draw polymers based on what we have. So the polymers we're going to focus on is additional polymer which will look like this. So how do everything happen? Now we can have thousands of alkene molecules or unsaturated compounds in a container put in lots of heat and pressure because they are gas adding pressure and what happens is the double bond will break okay one of the double bond will break so initially you have two so one of them will break and they will open up so this is a half this is a half this is a half this is half now you have heat you have pressure you have catalyst and if the conditions are correct what do you think will happen between this half bond here and this half bond here so if conditions are correct the half bond here and the half bond here will now join and what you get is many molecules joining together to form a single neutral molecule and this neutral molecule is known as a polymer okay? and how we represent it in chemistry is by taking a repeating unit something that repeats a pair that repeats put it in put a line there and put a square bracket and the end there. The line tells us that the thing is going on. The bracket tells us with the end that it is uh, based on the number that is used. Number of monomer units that is used. So how do we represent? A monomer unit is usually an unsaturated compound. For example here there's one, two, three three different sorts and each of them will give you a different polymer so what happens if you have lots of this thousands of these in one container this is what you will get you will get a repeating unit consisting of almost the same that but double bond has broken up so please don't write a double bond when you are doing a repeating unit so this extends itself for many times and you get a polymer looking like this in the case of tetrafluoroethene, this is what you get, a repeating unit and eventually a polymer, polytetrafluorine, fluoroethene, then here you get something like that. And you get this, double bond opens up, single bond off, and put a bracket and that is your polymer. Sometimes in the exam, you are given uh, many repeating units as shown here. So what you do is you are asked to find the monomer. So what you do is you do a section, section it off like that. Okay, and you get this. So this will be the repeating unit. Once you get a repeating unit, close back the bond, you get your monomer unit. So basically getting back the original unit. So what happens if you get this? Okay, find a pattern, section it off get the repeating unit and then close back the bond and get a double bond. So that's all for polymerization.